Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to another video at Bosch. Wait, what? You're wondering what this is? This is my body armor. Where's my real body armor? <laughs> Dude, I'm in school. I'm on a tight budget. This is my this is my DIY frying pan body armor. Does it even stop a bullet? Well, does it? Stay tuned to see if a frying pan is bulletproof. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to another video at Boschman Tactics. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're gonna be seeing how bulletproof a frying pan is. And if it is, then I was just thinking it might make decent body armor. It covers all your vitals. It has a good, yeah, it has a good circumference for that. And it'd be really easy to tape up in the case of, uh, of a code red. So we're gonna fire some good old fashioned guns at these bad boys and we're gonna see what happens. Thanks for joining us, stay tuned. All right guys, we're gonna start nice and small with the 22 LR. See how these frying pans hold up. Okay, let's go check it out. I'm not too sure about this. I know the 22 is a tiny round, but these frying pans are just steel frying pans, so I don't think they're too strong. All right, so that was our shot entrance and we went straight through. <laughs> so right out the back there and it dented the second one with a big dent. Really big dent coming out the back. So, so we'll move it up to the 22 Magnum and see how many frying pans that goes through. All right guys, so we bumped it up to the 22 Magnum and these are full metal jackets, so I don't know. I'll try and go dead center. There she goes. Okay, so here's our setup. This is our 22 Magnum, that was 22 LR. So first one, done. Second one, in through there. Out through there. Third one in. Out. Bigger ball here, so it's getting harder. And then it stopped on the fourth one. No exit on this side. Just a bump right there. As you can see right there. So stopped on that fourth one. All right, so. I have a 20 gauge out here, so I'm gonna shoot some target shot. Those are just like a hundred or hundreds of tiny little pellets. So I think these frying pans, that'll be, it'll be able to stop that the easiest, I'm guessing, I'm guessing. So we're gonna take a shot with those and we're gonna see what happens. All right guys, this is my, this is round three and we're gonna be shooting with seven and a half shot 20 gauge. I'm pretty sure it'll stop it, but let's try it out, just in case. Yikes. So what do you all think? I, I think it stopped it. That's just my opinion. Let's see. So this is the pan we had in front. Pull that out there. So, like I said, we just have like hundreds of little BBs in here. And they all did, just, it just peppers that thing. So it's all tiny little dents. You can actually feel the indent. It's tough to see, but overall it stopped it, which is good. If that went through, then I would say these frying pans are wicked weak and trash. So we have a slug and four frying pans. So, Let's let her rip. All right guys, so we have our 65 caliber 20 gauge slug locked and loaded against these four frying pans. Let's see what happens. I'm excited to see how many it goes through. <laughs> that was sick. All right, so that was a 20 gauge slug versus four frying pans. Let's see what happened. 
So first one, straight through. Exit. Second one, massive entrance. Exit. Third one, entrance. Exit. Oh, you can actually see. Oh, maybe that's just the frying pan bent over. I thought that was part of the bullet. Fourth one, entrance, exit. I actually lined up this fifth one just held on the back and we stopped it <laughs> on the fifth frying pan. Massive dent on the back. Well guys, turns out that steel frying pans makes for awful body armor. The only, the only thing that it stopped was 20 gauge target shot, which a lot of things stop 20 gauge target shot. I'll tell you that for free. But anyways, let's run it to the outro. Oh, don't don't worry. I I never hit you guys that hard. Here. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining me at the range of Boschman Tactics and shooting up this crappy homemade body armor. That didn't work at all. I'm sorry. It just did not work. That's why it's a short video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Just if you're curious, like I am, about these stupid things, to just to see what happens. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, and stay right with the red and white, and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.